What is up, my MZ fam? What is up, my GME family? But most importantly, what is up, my Ape retail and crypto family? It's your boy Mike coming at your phone. You already know the crypt. This is not financial advice. This is my own personal opinion. And before we get started, everybody, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, okay? Now, it's about 11.25, 11.20 out here in the West Coast, here in sunny Southern California. It's almost power hour. Now, do you remember growing up, or even, shoot, you could do it now, is that you're walking, you got one of your friends in front of you, and you decide to be a jackass, and you kick the back of your foot, or the back of their foot, and they start to stumble. They stumble about four, five, six steps, and then they, they get upright, and they turn around, they're like, what the hell's your problem? And you're just laughing. I'm sure, you know, everybody knows what I'm talking about. You know, it's happened to me, it's happened to everybody out there. We've done it. I know we've all done it our share of times where you kick the, the back foot of your friends while they're walking in front of you. Now, the reason why I mention this, because that's pretty much our economy. That's what's going on right now, not only here in the United States, but as well as other economies throughout the world, okay? Now, I know today is quadruple witching. A lot of people are hyped about it. There's three trillion contracts out there, and blah, blah, blah. You got, you know, people talking about Citadel, they're taking out loans, and blah, blah, blah. You know what? Nothing really changes when it comes to news like this, okay? It's nice. It makes you warm and fuzzy inside. But until the price, until it starts to reflect the, the, reflect the price of Ape AMC and GameStop, again, it's just news out there. Now, is it just layers being added on? You know, it's not the straw that broke the camel's back. It's the multiple millions that are underneath that broke the camel's back, okay? So it was that one final straw. Now it's just adding to this, you know, all these layers keep adding and adding and adding. At some point we're gonna get paid what we owe. But in the meantime, it's all about patience, okay? Now, right now we have, you know, SPY at 383, down 6% for the last week. You have Bitcoin down at 19,400, down 8% for the last week. You got Nasdaq Adel between, you know, down five, 600 points. And we've seen it down as much as 1,700 points, 1,800 points, you know, just massive pushes to the downside. Now, the two-year treasury is currently sitting at 3.867. You got news just recently released from FedEx, okay, talking about a global recession. Just nasty downside. Now, for me, you already know I'm a big bear in the market for the long term. If there's any green in the market, I'm still, hey, you know what, make your money, boo-boo, you know, get your paper, you want to play your calls, you want to do all things you got to do to to um, to be profitable, hey, handle your business. But over the long term, I'm still a big bear in the market. I see nasty, nasty downside, okay? Now, my bracket for SPY still, 325, 345, and Bitcoin, 14K to 16k somewhere in there just call it that 15,000 right in that sweet spot that's when i see the bottom that's when i'll, I'll probably start entering positions to see how the markets are doing to start pushing to the upside to have another bull run okay now i know that we have the rate hike next week and 50 basis points you can just throw it out the window this 50 basis points is off the table that's definitely not going to happen now 75 is about 85 percent price into the market right now and one uh one percent and see 100 basis points is about 15% price into the market. But I want to tell you something because these uh, rate hikes is going to happen next Wednesday, okay? But pay attention. Today's Friday. On Monday, we have home builders coming out. This information. We also have on Tuesday, building permits and housing starts. Then on Wednesday, we have existing home sales. Now, the reason why I mentioned this is because housing is a lagging indicator about, you know, it's not like crypto or it's not like stocks when you can actually buy instantaneous, boom, you know what you got, you know your price, and, uh, and you sell, and the money's in your account, you know, depending on if you have a cash account or not but it's in your account. But homes, you know, when it hits the market, it's a lagging indicator, it's not, it's not instantaneous. These numbers don't come out and it's not right away. But if these numbers are bad, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, in any way, shape or form, you will get 100 basis points, you will get 1% rate hike. And 1% is not priced into the market, okay? And you're gonna see some nasty downside, even pushing much, much further. Then on top of that, you have Jerome Powell speaking. Mr., you know, the man himself, the dude with the partner hair, with the scowl on his face, the guy who's been lying all this whole time, pretty much saying everything was transitory from way back in the day to now. They know they messed up, they know they're hurting, they know in the bad spot. And if it comes out and housing, all these numbers are really bad, you're gonna see a nasty push to the downside, and then you're gonna see a 100 basis point rate hike of 1%. You're gonna see some more nasty push to the downside, and then Jerome Powell's gonna come out and he's gonna pile right on top of that, and you're gonna see some ugliness, okay? Now, how does this affect AMC, Ape, and GameStop? The answer to that, it's a byproduct of the market pushing down. It will push Ape, AMC, and GameStop to the downside, but, it's not going to be as much as you think. They're still strong. They're still holding numbers that we, you know, that we, I guess you say like maybe the base for a, um, will be like in the fours. The base for AMC would be like in a, in a, somewhere in the high sevens, maybe $8 range. I could be in the nines, you know, who knows? And then GameStop, you know, wherever that price is, they're holding tight right now. And I think that the strength of Ape and AMC and GameStop right now, currently as they sit is really nice. Do I think even though the market melts down and pushes the downside in an ugly way, I do not see it affecting Ape, AMC, and GameStop that much. Now, after, you know, it does push down, will there be opportunities? Yes, there will be opportunities to buy, whether, you know, you buy Ape, and AMC, and, uh, AMC and GameStop or other stocks. But be very careful in what you do because there's still downside and there's still ugliness in the market. You know, global recession, 
I want everybody to just have a great weekend. I want you to understand the price of Ape and AMC and GameStop is not the price of Ape and AMC and GameStop. And know the retail investors always last to know. Be very careful. Next week's gonna be a big week. I think it's gonna be the biggest week because if it's if it's nothing but downside next week, it's not gonna stop. I don't see any more upside. I don't care if midterms are coming up, there's still gonna be just dance, downside and it's not gonna stop, okay? So that's all I have my retail family. I'll see everybody later. And pretty soon, I'm gonna actually, I will have my video for fantasy football so you can see all the standings where everybody's at, okay? Have a great day. I shall see everybody soon. Talk to you later. Peace.